Hey, yo, you heard that new Paperboy mixtape? That's my cousin. You gonna wanna get in there before he gets signed, man. So, zoo tight. You want in on Paperboy? <laughs> No. FX boss John Langroff was recently pounding the drum on his there's being too much TV out there call to action again. The exec is now projecting the original scripted series universe will continue to expand until at least 2017 and maybe even up to 2019. Now with the business of making money and making TV in flux, all of that has a certain value for sure. But it also has a certain irony, being that FX is hitting the fall season hard itself with excellent scripted offerings like the exceptional Atlanta, which debuts its 10 episode first season on a crowded September 6th. A show so original and so good that they would be wise to renew it ASAP, so there'll be more to watch ASAP. Got him. The Donald Glover created and starring half hour comedy that is set in the world of local hip hop and amidst the hustle that only family can be is cool, calm, and collected and often keeping you off kilter by hanging back where most series, even some of the best I would say, would jump in. But don't think for a sec that Atlanta is detached or aloof because like the Southern metropolis it shares a name with, the show is also hot with a realistic approach to how much of life was, well, punting, pain, and pursuit. Which means the Byron Tyree Henry and Lakeith Stanfield co-starring show also has, like the best of the music coming out of Atlanta, the city itself, a distinctly original voice in a TV universe that can too often be full of echoes. If we do this right, your kids can live good. My kids can live good. Amidst the realities of being young, poor, and frustrated, that voice is heard through cop selfies and violent overreactions. Is Henry's paperboy Atlanta's Tupac and fan social media reactions? Kids' meals, stereotypes upon stereotypes, the meaning of Steve McQueen in a racial context, a drug deal that almost goes very rustically wrong, and then as it happens goes weird, the complications of relationships and trying to get ahead, and the fear of mortality. Now there's a lot of talking in Atlanta, but it has a lot to say, so listen. I would also say that the Hero Miyari directed Atlanta is also very funny, as well as very much dramatically of its time and place, so that real-time situations like on a smartphone scrolling or waiting to get processed for an arrest move in real or near real time feel entirely of themselves and appropriate as their tone sometimes pivots. What? No, this is a great environment for you. Called autobiographical in some ways by the former community star and Grammy-nominated musician, this is the life and world of its characters. As Glover's emotionally and economically embattled Earn takes on managing the career of his suddenly in-demand rapper cousin Alfred, aka Paperboy, played to laconic and emphatic exactitude by Henry. Now in a cast of nothing but strong performances, such as Zazie Beetz as Earn's daughter's mother and his lover, the duo are outstanding. But for me, it was straight out of Compton alum Stanfield who amazes as he elegantly sneaks up on you throughout the episode I've seen as Alfred's drug dealing partner Darius. Look, there's a lot of TV coming this fall. And as John Langroff says, there's a lot of TV out there. Regardless, Atlanta is a place you need to go. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.